Ugh. I gained more weight, not more muscle. Man, I was hungry. No, it sounds like a lot of excuses going on. I don't get hangry anymore, which is really nice. Just a little bit, just a little bit life changing. Hey guys, what's up? Megan Elise here. I post when I post, and you should subscribe so you know when I post. Hello. Anyway, in today's video, we are going to be talking about intermittent fasting because why? I gained a sufficient amount of weight that I would love to lose. We are gonna weigh myself. Um, I have a fancy scale. Uh, it says like your BMI and your water weight and all that fun stuff. So we are going to do that. And we are going to, I'm gonna probably do a montage of me eating things. I don't eat the healthiest, but I don't eat the worst either. So I'm like not gonna really change, I guess my diet, if you will, in this video. I am more so going to focus on eating within certain times of the day. If anyone doesn't know what intermittent fasting is, it's basically fasting for a number of hours overnight usually. It could be like fasting for 14 hours, for 16 hours. It really just kind of depends. I'm going to try to fast from noon to eight o'clock. It's more so of just like fasting and while you're fasting, only drinking water, anything that doesn't have calories, I guess. And I'm going to work out, maybe I'll try, uh, three times a week within this whole process. So I'll show you what I, pictures of me now and then pictures of me at the end. It's not great. I'm ashamed <laughs> of my, it's more so, it's not saying that I'm fat. It's more so just saying that like I, I'm just not at a good place healthy wise. Like I've seen my face bloat up. I've seen, um, I just can't really fit in a lot of the clothes that I had. It's more so of that. And I just, I don't feel comfortable with this extra weight on. And yeah, I'm gonna do this for 30 days. I'm excited and afraid. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? With breakfast today, I'm having honey bunches of oats. It's not the worst, it's not the worst thing, right? <laughs> Before I eat, I'm gonna weigh myself, so let's do that. <laughs> there is no way. I truly did not think I weighed that much. I just weighed myself like three weeks ago and I was 124. I've never weighed that much in my life. Oh, so I'm glad I'm doing this. Wow. To give you perspective, I am 5'2". A little over a year ago, I weighed 110 pounds. To give you perspective. So, for me, I gained almost 20 pounds. That is insane. Oh, we're working out today. That's happening. That is happening. So, I got caught up editing, unfortunately, and I had to eat within the time slot window. I finished eating at like 8'10". Missed it by a little bit, and and now I'm going to work out, which is very unfortunate because I didn't properly time this out, so. Oh, this is gonna suck. I just worked out, and I don't feel good because I ate before, uh, so never doing that again. I could only work out for not even, almost 20 minutes, because so I just don't feel good. So, we shall continue this tomorrow. Morning of day two, already at a rough start. I had to wake up at like five something in the morning because half the time I work on a set and I was carpooling with my boyfriend and on his set, they had quesadillas with avocado. That is my weakness. That is my favorite thing to eat. And smelling that and seeing that and being hungry because I woke up over two hours ago now, it's eight o'clock. I have to wait till noon. I'm gonna cry. This is gonna be a really rough day. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I can't, oh God. I'm just so hungry. I'm like really, I'm getting sad. <laughs> I just want coffee, but no, it has calories in it. <laughs> I can't eat anything. Although I will say I was like, I'm very happy with like my stomach this morning was Significantly, I'm not significantly, but like smaller, I can tell. I want to turn back around and go get a quesadilla so bad. <laughs> I, oh God. I am not completely done with my second day. I was gonna eat now because I have to stop eating at eight, but I'm not even hungry, but I'm not even gonna be home till eight. So, oh! we are on day three, folks. 
I caved last night because the last time I ate was about 5 p.m. So I was really hungry. I thought I would be able to eat for 8 p.m. and I, I could, there was no, no way I could. <laughs> Uh, so I ended up eating at about 9 o'clock. That was the last time I ate. So a 16 hour turnaround would be uh, 1 p.m. on day four. So last night I forgot to film my soup and today I forgot to film that I made and ate a quesadilla and popcorn and strawberries with some yogurt. So that's everything I ate today. And for dinner I think we're gonna have Chipotle because we're going to the gym now. My first official cardio session in this whole thing but great news i already lost eight nine pounds six pounds so that's great and crazy at the same time so i'm super excited about what's to come i'll try and film everything else that i eat so i can finish this montage of food <laughs> and I already messed up because I had Taco Bell last night at like nine in the morning. I mean, what, nine at night. So that meant I have to wait even longer today, but I woke up at like five in the morning. So I'm just gonna do till noon. I just missed an hour. <sighs> it's not the end of the world, but I have this chicken sandwich that I am holding on to till noon for the next 20 minutes, so. On day 10. Day 10. Day 10, oh my gosh. So I failed last night. What it failed? Like I had Taco Bell around nine something. But by the time I even eat, it's gonna be past one o'clock anyway. So it's fine. I'm just so hungry and uncomfortable. So basically everything that I've had consisted of quesadillas, Taco Bell, uh, soup, Oh yeah, yesterday I had a uh, Starbucks sandwich, like one of the panini things, just cause I was there. <gasps> I don't, I don't think I really lost much more weight. I, if anything, I gained more weight cause I weighed myself a few days ago and it was like, I gained more weight. Not more muscle, I gained more weight. <laughs> and more water weight, so. It's Valentine's Day. So I really didn't even want to do it today, but here we are. Not purposely trying to do it, but I'm doing it. I wanted to skip a day. Didn't work out. On day 12. So I have just been like having leftovers and stuff all day from like Chipotle and like pizza stuff and whatnot. Um, and then last night I stopped eating at about eight o'clock almost exactly. And then I went to sleep at 10 and woke up at 10. <laughs> so fasting was super easy because I didn't even eat anything till like 1230 or so because I wasn't even hungry really. So. Um, yeah, that was good because I slept through most of the fasting for once, which I have not been able to do. I'm gonna work out tonight. I haven't worked out since last weekend because I haven't had not I have not had a chance. You no, know, it sounds like a lot of excuses going on, but that's what's going on. So on day sixteen, only like twice did I like mess up, but it wasn't like big mess ups. It was like maybe an hour off, so it was like fifteen hour fast instead of sixty hour fast. Only a couple days have been 15 hours, but every other day has been like 16 once or twice, 17 hours um, of fasting, which is great. Uh, last night I stopped actually eating like food at like 6.45, but I stopped, I had like a, I went to the movies and I had like a ice cream sandwich and um, that was at like 7.45, but like I didn't want to count that because I was really hungry this morning and I didn't want to like go buy food and eat out. So, um, I ate at like 10.45, which is fine, it's fine. I was hungry, but that was the only time, just circumstantial. Also, I have noticed I've been eating significantly less and the fasting has become easier and easier because I've been training my body to not be hungry basically most of the time, which is great um, and super nice because it feels like a superpower. <laughs> 
on day 26. I'm so close to being done. Oh my god, I didn't even realize I was like that far into this. But um, I will say one time, one time I messed up and I ate at like midnight or something and couldn't wait the full 16 hours of the next day just because I was so hungry. I just made a lot of money. I really wanted to go out and I did. Um, and also one time when I had a banana at like midnight, but at the same time I didn't eat for like, oh, like 15 hours after that. So it wasn't like terrible. And last night I, cause I've been working out and stuff. So I've been, I had a protein shake, but I didn't count that because like I needed more protein cause I literally only had one meal and I wasn't hungry for another meal and it to like keep myself sustained, whatever. But I weighed myself yesterday and I'm 121 and I was 128 point nine starting this that is crazy like three weeks and a few days that's what i got to which is amazing so i'm gonna work out again today and i've started eating early today because like i stopped actually eating yesterday at 3 30 o'clock in the afternoon so i started eating at 7 30 and i had a banana since and it is now three or so so I'm going to have some lunch and probably stop eating early again because I probably won't be hungry for a dinner. And it's easier because I'm like, I want to I wanna work out at night, but I don't want to like work out after I eat. But then I usually work out in the times that I'm supposed to eat. So it doesn't work out. So I'm like, I'd rather just eat before, wait an hour or two and then go work out and then just not eat again. So I'm just like depriving myself of calories, but you know, it's fine because there's protein shakes for that. So yeah, I'm super, I'm super stoked about what's happening. I think what I'm going to do after this is all over is I'm just going to wait as long as I can in the morning to eat, but going out, it will be easier because I will have, I have food at home. So I'm just going to like, I can eat breakfast in the morning, which is super nice. Um, but I'm definitely like cutting back on a lot of carbs um I'm not going ham I've had pizza I've had my fair share of pizza and fair share of pastas and all that stuff in this whole thing but a lot less and I've been saying no to a lot of actual bread um which is amazing I'm, I'm really I'm, I'm proud of myself because this takes a lot of energy <laughs> to do and my appetite has drastically decreased like I'm not hungry nearly as much and I don't get hangry anymore which is really nice um anyway so I'm gonna keep my full update like what I actually think of this whole process like five days from now or four days from now so stay tuned for that we are on day 30. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. We are way past that. We are past that, folks. This is a couple days after the fast, and I would love to tell you the amazing news. Okay, so I lost eight pounds. I will show you proof right here. I have a scale that like shows me the BMI and water weight and muscle and all of that stuff. I only worked out maybe five or six times in the entirety of the thing. What I have learned is that I can control my hangriness. I'm never really hangry anymore because like I know that I can go out and get food whenever. And the not being fed when I was hungry made me learn so much of self-control <laughs> and made me learn that like if I can wait for that, I can wait for just about anything. So that was great. I'm super happy about that. If you want to try it, if you want to lose some weight and be healthier and not bingy whenever you want to eat kind of a thing, go for it because it is it, it is a little, just a little, it's a little bit life changing. I would definitely recommend anyone to try this. Uh, I fasted for 16 hours and mind you, you don't have to do the same fast every single day. You don't have to do like 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every single day. As long as you're fasting for 16 hours, it's worth it. You can eat till 10 p.m. if you want one day. That's fine. You just have to wait the next day until 4 p.m. to eat. That's that's how it works. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to follow me at Megan Elise. And um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, ring that notification bell because it would be really appreciated. And I will talk to you guys soon.